Hello, happy campers. This is Gina from the Boys and Girls Club in Steenhatchee Unit. And I, today I am reading Shark Lady. It's a biography about Eugenia Clark, written by Anne McGovern. It is an AR bo uh, book. It's a 4.9 level with the AR points of one. So this is a really good book. I enjoy biographies. It talks about a little girl's passion and love for sharks and how she lived out that dream. I hope that you will find a passion in your life and live out that dream. The best thing about biographies and autobiographies is the real people just like you and me, real people who have overcome obstacles or who have dreams and who have achieved those dreams. So we'll start today with chapter one, a very special Saturday. Wake up, Jeannie, Mama called. We have to go downtown soon. Eugenia Clark mumbled into her pillow. Who wants to go downtown on a Saturday? Saturdays were made for climbing rocks and trees with Norma, her best friend. Saturdays were for digging up fat worms, bringing home bugs and snakes, making sure that Grandma didn't see them. Those were the good Saturdays. But today was different. Her friend Norma had to go shopping with her mother. Grandma wasn't feeling well and needed peace and quiet. There was no place for nine-year-old Eugenia to be except with Mama at work. Mama worked in a big building in downtown New York City. She sold newspapers at the newsstand in the lobby. In the rumbling subway train speeding downtown, Mama looked at her daughter's sad face and wished there was something she could do to make Eugenia happier. Eugenia's father had died when she was a baby, so Mama had to work extra hard to earn enough money to take care of the family. Working extra hard meant working Saturday mornings, too. The subway train pulled into the station and they got out. A sign at the top of the subway stairs said, To the Aquarium. A good idea, Mama said. I'll leave you at the aquarium and I'll pick up you I'll pick you up at lunch. That will be more fun for you than sitting around the newsstand all morning. Eugenia walked through the doors of the aquarium and into the world of fish. She walked among the tanks filled with strange fish. Then she came to a big, mysterious looking tank at the back. She stared at it for a long, long time. The green misty water seemed to go on and on. She leaned over the rail, her face close to the glass, and pretended that she was walking on the bottom of the sea. Eugenia went to the aquarium the next Saturday, and the next Saturday, and the Saturday after that. She went to the aquarium on all the cold Saturdays, the rainy and snowy Saturdays of autumn and winter. Sometimes her best friend Norma came with her, but often she was alone with the fish. Eugenia read about fish too. She read about a scientist who put a diving helmet on his head and went deep under the waves. He walked on the bottom of the sea with the fish swimming around him. Someday, I'll walk with the fish too, she said. In the summertime, Mama took her to the beach. Mama had taught Eugenia to swim before she was two years old. When Mama came out of the water, her long, jet black hair streamed down her back. Eugenia thought Mama looked like pictures she had seen on the beautiful pearl divers of the Orient. Mama was Japanese. Mama was a good swimmer, and in the summertime, Eugenia loved to watch her swim with long, graceful strokes. Now, in the autumn, in the winter, Eugenia watched the very best swimmers, the fish, the fish in the aquarium. She found all the fish fascinating, the smallest fish glowing like tiny jewels, and the fish with fluttering fins that looked like fairy wings, but it was the biggest streamlined fish in the aquarium that came back to her again and again. She watched the big shark swimming, turning, swimming, turning, never resting its long, graceful body. She watched it and lost track of time. Mysterious shark, she thought. Someday, I'll swim with the sharks too.